This video is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, this isn't my parents' front yard. I cannot believe it. The certificate finally came in. Come on, we need to show them. There it is, the certificate. That only took six weeks to come. I can't believe we're saying this, but we have officially packed up the van and full-time van life can begin. Like for realsies this time, not like the last time when we moved in, bailed on the van and went to New Zealand for three weeks time. Actual for realsies this time. But you're not going to believe the story we have to tell you for us to get to this point, as there's more highs and lows than a roller coaster at Disneyland. But I guess we should flash back four years ago where Jess, on our honeymoon, had this amazing idea for van life. You need to have a peek at Leon's brothers. Yeah. They're very cool. I saw another one down there too. They're so cool. This trip has made me want to convert a camper van so bad. Have a look in there, Steve, it's so cool. So what do you think, Steve? 2018, converter on camper van? Are you up for the job? Let's do it. <laughs> Flash forward to 2020, we had a newborn baby and made one of the biggest decisions in our life as a family. We bought an empty cargo van with the hopes of turning it into a little family home on wheels. You were all there as our empty space slowly came together and you all watched our excitement as we moved in and couldn't believe we were about to set off on our big Aussie adventure. But like a balloon deflating, that excitement stopped the day before we were about to leave and by chance, we found out that we needed a certificate to confirm Hunter's seat was safely installed and allow our van to be roadworthy. So we got the guys who installed our seat to submit our paperwork. They said it would take two weeks max. Two weeks turned to three, which turned to four. And before we knew it, six weeks had passed and still no certificate. We had touched base at least five times to follow up and kid you not, six weeks later, they decided maybe they should probably follow up and their reply was... Today has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Got an email from them saying, oh whoops, the engineer has not submitted the paperwork. <laughs> I followed up with them so many times and they never followed up with the engineer on our behalf. So we've waited six weeks for nothing. They never submitted the paperwork and we just broke down. It was the lowest we've been all year. It really affected Jess. Due to the delays, our original schedule meant we were meant to be in Queensland to see her parents this week and with no idea on when we would leave. Feeling a little spontaneous right now. Yes, I'm currently at the airport. I've been missing my family so much and I think if we had left in the van when we were meant to, we would be in Cairns right now and I think that's just been in my head and I thought, Steve, while we've got a little bit of time, I think I want to go see my family, but Stephen's busy doing some things for the van, so that means that I'm actually flying by myself with Hunter and Stephen is going to join us in a few days, so it's the first time he's going to be away from Hunter and it's going to be the first time I'm flying by myself and flying with a baby. I've never flown without you, Steve. It was the longest we'd been away from each other in 13 years and the longest I'd been away from Hunter since she was hey. born. Oh, is she? Is she tired or is she awake? No, 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 she's awake and, like, so much energy. Oh, my God. So one of the main reasons that I didn't go with Jess to Queensland is that there were still a couple of loose ends we needed to tie up. One, our inverter. We were waiting on parts to finish it up to do the swap over. So if you have a look in here, you will see that we have no inverter, which means we can't use any of the major 240 appliances like the cooktop and the aircon. So I'm gonna be heading into Rockingham to just drop the van off and once the parts come in, they can at least finish putting in the inverter. But now I'm so past being Mr. Nice Guy when it comes to the Department of Transport and I'm just gonna be harassing them every single day to get any sort of updates on our certificate. I'm not a very angry natured person, but I went full on to this company. We lost six weeks and the worst bit was they couldn't care less. So after a very little angry Stephen got on the call, you would not believe it. The certificate came in two days and this is the happiest we've been all year. The journey can officially begin. All right, Hunter. It is your nap time and is one of many times when you're gonna go to sleep and wake up in a pretty cool spot, huh? Oh, you look so sleepy. I can't believe this. 
I honestly cannot believe this. This is day one. Cooper the van, it's all happening. What's the day's date? It's the 19th of June. 19th of June and Cooper the van is officially our home. All right, let me do it. First time doing up my seatbelt. Click. Oh. I cannot believe it. We're living in Cooper the van. We are hitting the road. Day one. Wow. Let the adventure begin. To be honest, this is the first time all three of us have been in the van. You as well. <laughs> you haven't really driven in a van. <laughs> I haven't driven the van. You want to have a shot? Yeah. I think Jess. I'm, I'm the one that started all right. this off. All right, you start it off. Oh my gosh, Steve, you got the shortest legs in the world. All right, you can adjust. I'm already regretting this. I think I got too excited. Oh my gosh, it looks different. Push the button. What button? The on button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so drive. Steve, is this a bad idea that I'm starting this? This is why no one ever sees there's an engine light on. Does yeah, that mean that's fine. It's just doing its checks. <laughs> Are you sure? Is it meant to be on? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Hunter, hold on. Oh no, Hunter. Good night. You get to sleep now. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm waiting a long time to make sure the coast is actually clear. This could be the first time a lot of them are ever watching me drive. <laughs> We're waiting one more time. We're on the road. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First time driving. I was gonna say little old Cooper, big old Cooper. Hitting the road. How's it feel? Scary. <laughs> Cannot believe it. We've left. Woohoo! Wow. When is the next time we are going to be back in Perth? <laughs> First overtaking. I don't know if I can make it. You can make it. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's so easy, but I'm just so scared. Go, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Come on. We're gonna hit reset on the speedometer. Is that it? Yes. The kilometer counter. And let's, let's just many. see. <laughs> let's see. Let's put some bets down below, everybody. How many kilometers do you think it's going to take us to go clockwise all around Australia? And I don't know, in a year's time, whenever we get back to Perth, let's see who's the closest. I'm going to say 15,000 kilometers. What do you reckon? Wow. I'm going to guess 14,000. Okay. You guys leave it in the comments and. Um, we'll come back to back to this in a year's time and out on our own with our hope in the clouds and we're starting to see that we're on to something feel it coming we'll keep running nothing in our way and we got no reason to wait let the journey Alrighty. take you first time feeling this up to. and um we'll find we need way to get rid of all these buggies that have died on our windscreen Gosh, how many liters do you reckon? Uh, 90? No, 90 liters? I reckon, oh wow, we're already up to 20 liters. Uh, okay, maybe 50 liters? Two seconds later. I missed that. Oh. He got, oh my gosh, there's diesel oil in your oh. hands. Oh no, it wasn't. How did that happen? Are you using the truck one or something? I, was, I must be, oh no. <laughs> Oh, Jeez. Oh, no. You're going to stink. The window's too big. <laughs> uh, note to self, <laughs> maybe not use the truck diesel. There you go. Cheers! Cheers! Go! 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 Alrighty. Hunter wants snacks. Alrighty, somebody's ready for a campfire tonight. It's our first time filling up the fridge. It looks like it's fitting everything. We may have overbought, I'm not sure. 
this is us because we know that the next two nights we're going remote and we're like two nights remote we need to fill up the whole fridge <sighs> see you've already attacked the snickers pods behind you there <laughs> <laughs> So because no one can really leave Australia at the moment, it means that everybody is hitting the road and doing a good old Australian road trip. And that also means a lot of the kind of cool campsites get booked up really quickly. And there's this one that you can't book. You just have to call on the day to see if they have availability because it's an hour down a very, very dusty road. So I want to make sure it's worth it. You can tell this is the first time we're using this. Haven't even opened up the water pipe yet. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got about 90 litres underneath the van. I think we didn't top it up before we went. And because we're going off the grid for the next couple of days, probably best to double check we have all our water with us. Is that on like a... Oh, you maybe done the wrong way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> How many people does it take to use a hose pipe? Three people. It's actually two and a half, and that half is very muddy. Oh my goodness, look at your socks. And I think we have water. Yeah, it's filling up now. We have yeah. the hose stuffing up. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for the delay. What have you done, Hunter? Uh, uh. Day one and already covered in mud. Oh my gosh. Oh. You're gonna be needing to get changed. We just wanted to take a moment to thank our good friends over at Squarespace for their continued support of our channel and for making our little adventure around Australia possible. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. As you guys know, we have been taking so many snaps on the road already and it's so easy to put together blog posts thanks to Squarespace's award-winning website design. Designs. If you're thinking about putting one together yourself, it is super easy and if it's a little bit daunting, they have 24-7 customer support. So if you are interested, make sure you check out the link in the description below for your free trial and 10% off your first order of a website or domain. Now let's get back on the road. Okay, this is the first time we've ever taken Cooper off-roading where we're staying. It's like 10 kilometers off the beaten path and um, it is definitely bumpy in here. <laughs> Hopefully everything uh, stays put. One of the local pets of this doggy and this kangaroo. something we're missing we need your chair yeah okay cool you got that <laughs> come on pick it up you gotta pull your own weight around here madam all righty there's been something i've been waiting for this exact moment to drink Limited edition, only two left in the world. It's Jess kissing her love, me kissing my love. Celebration is required. People are going to get it. You need to show them the picture. <laughs> I need to hide my face. Focus. There you go. When we went to the Bundaberg factory in Bundaberg, we got these specially printed. It says drove three hours for my Bundy on it. <laughs> and we're going to celebrate day one of van life. I can't. I don't even think it still hit us. <laughs> like I am still in shock. And look at this place that we've just set off in. It's so beautiful. All right, cheers. <sighs> so day one in Cooper. Day one. Day one of many. Cheers, Steve. I cannot believe the process to get here. But we're here. We're here. We are here and it's time to celebrate. Cheers, Hunter. <laughs> 
Cheers, Baba. So for our first official night in Cooper the Van, we knew we wanted to have it on the beach and we found this place called Quabba Station and you can actually stay right on the water, but they were all sold out. So we're only one row back in the dunes, we're going to relax for the next two nights. And this place is a fire pit. I've never owned an ax before until this point. <laughs> Do you ever sometimes do something in life and think, um, I'm supposed to be an adult and know how to use these things, but I'm still waiting for that point in life when you're just meant to be able to know these things. <laughs> You should do the honours. Okay. Our first campfire of many. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Okay, light match closer to fire. Wood. Ready? Okay, it's doing <laughs> something. It's caught on something. Good luck, fire. There's whiskey inside my veins. I'm feeling heavy and I can't explain how I feel for you You got me dizzy and I'm feeling blue Let's go walking so in the city So I've got some curry tonight. simmering away but who says you can't have marshmallows before dinner? Now Stephen did give me one job which was to find a stick to cook the marshmallows on and look we're at a beach this is the best stick I could find, Steve. Remember, we are at a beach. So I found a piece of beech wood. So, uh... Who's got the marshmallows? <laughs> Where's the marshmallow? You've never tried a marshmallow. I think we should toast it first, Baba. She thinks no. Oh, <laughs> what do you think? I think we have a fan. Is it yum? All right, now we are officially camping. So Hunter, if you're camping, you see, you don't eat the marshmallow yet. You need to roast it first. Okay, I may have burnt it, but official first marshmallow, well actually second marshmallow. Hunter already stole the first one. <laughs> mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Next time, we need to make s'mores. Got a daddy size? Oh yeah. And a baby size. Do you want to try mum's curry? Do you like it? That's like a good so good. Yeah. Oh yum. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I can be I'm having trouble sleeping and I'm stuck on the side Cause I haven't figured out this faith of life But the problem isn't sitting on the wood For the longest time I've dreamt about making a coffee on the beach right outside our home So be still, you don't always have to have an answer First beach coffee. Oh my gosh, thanks to you. Whoa, it looks so good. Yeah, you were the barista. <laughs> Thoughts? Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's good. <gasps> wow. Yay. Can't believe it. Coffee on the beach. Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to day two of van life.
worth it for the rock. So far, Hunter napping in that room is a success and any little bump and stuff doesn't wake her up, but it's our voices that wake her up. So we have to be kind of quiet because we really want to have a nice little breakfast outside while she has her morning nap. Success. <laughs> Alright, it looks like some heavy winds are heading our way, so we might move on, but first night of van life, huge success. If you guys are new around here in the next vlog, we'll let you know all our plans on where we plan to head. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!